Welcome back to the baby. Welcome back to the basement yard, Frankie. Oh, dude, awesome fucking hat with a single beer mug on it, you fucking geek. That's from Brooklyn, isn't it? That shirt, too, is definitely from Brooklyn. Tell from, me. From Brooklyn? Yeah. That's what does a very that mean? Brooklyn thing of you to wear. What's wrong with this shirt? Like, oh, so fucking cool. A single beer on your hat. Or like a hat that says hat, you fucking geek. <laughs> You fucking that? meta piece of shit. That's not what meta means. You it is meta. Idiot. Like it's a comment on itself. No, you're dumb. No, I'm not dumb. That's not what meta means. You can call me a lot of things. Dumb ain't one of them. What can I call you? Fucking idiot. Fat. I thought that was going to be something else coming out of your mouth. Fat was, bitch? No, I thought there was going to be a G at the end of that. And I was like, whoa. Oh, no. I would Jeez. never do that. Fat good? Oh, oh, I got <laughs> <laughs> I was like, what's a fatga? Fatga? And then I see what you're yeah, saying. Yeah, I thought you were. No, you wouldn't use that. I was like, whoa, hard You wouldn't F. do that. No, well, I, well, you, I don't know. I would not do that. You almost did. I know I didn't. Well, I thought you almost did. But, so that's what you think of me then. No, but you were doing it. So no, I, I thought... wasn't. I wasn't doing it. I had no part of me was going to do it. But you believed that I do it, that I was going to do it. So that's the that speaks to what you believe of me as an individual. I think that you're capable of anything. Well, actually, that's kind of nice of you. Well, but saying bad words like that is not one of the things that I'm capable of. Hey man, I'm just a girl with a dream in the world. What song is that? It's I don't think it is. I'm just a girl. Yeah, I hate that song. Those are the lyrics. <laughs> <laughs> that is a fucking. By the way, no doubt had bangers, but also had a guy that looked straight up like a monster. You know uh, who I'm talking about. Well, I don't really know anyone except Gwen Stefani. He was like the the Indian looking guy that had white hair. He just looked like a monster. I don't know what about his eyes were monstrous. Oh. Yeah, they were scary. Anyway, you can't. What, what was speaking that? of scary men, <clears throat> where's that going? Well, actually, not scary men, just men. Well, men are scary because of the, especially white men, straight white men. <laughs> I was waiting for that. Straight white men are the scariest straight men out Straight white there, men maybe. wearing blue shirts and, and navy straight hats. Straight white male. Uh, oh yeah, you're terrifying right now. Okay. Actually, no, because you're kind of hip right now with your shirt that I don't know if it says noon or new. This looks a little inclusive, like gay. New who? This looks gay. It says Noah. Yeah, yeah. Like his ark. Is it a religious right. shirt? No, it's not a religious shirt about oh. animals, Frankie. Or oh, a I boat. I don't know. I don't know about this it's stuff. It's just a brand name. Oh, okay, anyway, that's cool. Uh, do you remember Brian Silva? Brian Silva, Brian. Oh, is that the Ratata? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Kratata. That guy was awesome. Yeah, that guy. Uh, you know. And then, did you ever hear about a rumor about this guy that he was into like gay porn? Yeah. So it was a rumor that very he, much was ended up being stone cold facts. Oh, really? He was yeah. like slamming dick. Yeah, I don't know if he was slamming dick or or getting slammed by dick. I mean, I guess if you're doing gay porn, you're doing a little bit of both. Oh, yeah. I mean, at that point. Isn't the rumor... Like, I remember when we were kids, it was like, yo, what do I want to be? A fucking porn star. And it was like, yeah. Never well, did guess, I want to be a porn yes, star. Yes, you did. No. But I, one of our friends had a shirt that said porn star in training. Who? I can't remember. But I do remember one of... I know one of our friends, like, legitimately... Tr I remember now. Yeah. Wanted to try to be a porn star. That was very recent. That actually. was very like within, within two years. No, within like it was like four years ago. Uh which is too close. <laughs> That's too yeah. close. <laughs> An adult man, by the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Not but, that there's any wrong anything wrong with sex work, my God. To all the porn, I mean to all the I mean, there's only fanners that are watching. But, but I remember for sure. Oh yeah. But I remember Big OnlyFans guy. Have never subscribed to anyone's account. I don't think I've ever even seen like the I'm website. Just like, I've just like heard about it. I've seen some profile pictures. It's a pictures. joke now. Everyone just talks about OnlyFans like it's like a it's all sex work, but like Danny had one. He was singing on it, right? I, I don't know. I, I mean yeah, they're they're trying to like branch out and be like just basically Patreon where they have like a subscription service for people's like extra content or whatever. But at the end of the day, it's for big fat old juicy knocks. Is it really? Yeah, dude, it's for boobs. If you got booby boobs, you could make some money. On I remember fans. a couple of weeks ago, it was a thing that like, um, I think it was the New York Post sent out a, a, a story and it was like, this uh, ER nurse it goes to OnlyFans in order to pay her bills. And they were like trying to shame her. And it's like, or how about it's kind of fucked up that a nurse needs to sell her body in order to make ends meet. I mean, I don't, I think that like, yo, if she's, she bad, <laughs> fuck it. <laughs> Let her get paid. Like the fuck? I don't no, care. I, Even if you make like a billion dollars a year, bro. If you got juicy stuff, 
Whatever. It's such a double-edged sword. I, I was having this conversation with Becca not long ago, and it's like, like inherently, like I've been to a strip club in my life. I know you've been to a strip club in your life as well. That's uh, for sure. But like, <laughs> it's like, it's fucked up that a strip club exists. But at the same time, if the women that work there or men are choosing that they want to make their money like that, like who are we to tell them what to do with their bodies? You yeah, know? I'm definitely I'm all on board for the sex work. Oh, you think like like let it go? You don't think it's a victimless crime? No, I think that I think that it's a legitimate category of like labor is that am i i'm trying to sound smart you're not what am i doing you're definitely not no but like i think that it's like a legitimate job like to do that i think it has it's necessary in the world maybe not like necessary for survival but definitely like it's a sex is a giant part of life everything in life is about sex except for one thing joey what is it fucking you know i've said it before sex sex is about power go on I hate you. You've never you... heard that. Cl- You've never heard that quote. I've said it on the show before. Sex. Wait. Uh, Everything in life is about sex, except for one thing, and that's sex, because sex is about power. It's true, baby. Damn. Baba Bowie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like taking power. It is. It's like a power. power. But I, I, I I'm, I'm kind of with you on that. Like, I think like if we move to a point where like sex work is is considered voluntary and not like fucking human trafficking. No, I'm, oh, dude, human trafficking and sex work are completely different things. Like, it's all voluntary. I mean, there are there are human trafficking is not voluntary. No, bro. I'm talking about. I'm saying human trafficking is completely separate than sex work. No, but but in a way, although it might be voluntary that the person is opting to do it, it, it is technically not. If you're looking at like the trickle down theory, like it's technically not because they feel like that is a necessity. Yes, they are choosing to go into that see, line of work, I but they're saying, saying it's, like, it's a necessity in order to get by. Right. If they feel like. You know, I, this is the only way that I can feed my child is doing this, and I don't really want to do it, but it's like you know I can do it. Then yeah, I, but I don't really consider that as being voluntary. I mm. consider that being like sort of backed into a corner and not you know having a choice. But you still even at that moment have a choice to either not do it or you know do whatever. But I I honestly think that if anyone's out there and you're like yo I'm cool with my body and like showing people and I got these big old things and like they're dope and like. You know what I'm saying? Be I'm honest. trying to make if it. If you had a just like an obnoxiously big flaccid wiener, would you show people voluntarily? I don't think dicks don't work that way. Like I, I don't know, dude. I don't you th- could be fucking hideous with a massive wang. If I had like two dicks, because then that's like you're cornering a market. Like people don't. You're cornering a market for big old things too. No, people got people got dicks. People got fat dicks. But that's what I'm saying. Like the dicks, the dicks give them the advantage. Well, that's what I'm, yeah, but I don't think anyone's like like people see penises and it's like yeah, cool, but like the female body is like way cooler. Like we not, know, and that's but, we know that, but that's not straight. because I'm saying I'm straight. I'm, I'm I think that even women can be like, damn, like that looks nice. But like even but like a, a penis is kind of like cool, but like. Yeah, like cool. it's not. Yeah, I get, I get what you're it's saying. It's not as cool. I get what you're saying. Yeah, there's yeah, less yeah. going on. It's but so a... this guy Brian Silva, he's just slamming dicks. <laughs> oh, I forgot that's where we were. <laughs> but no, so Brian Silva, like there was like the you know he was like I'm gonna fuck your hoe, mm-hmm. kind of type of shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. And um, so that was like his thing on Vine was being like I'm gonna fuck your bitch or like I, I could fuck your bitch. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like given the opportunity, if your bitch was in my vicinity, consider her taken. You know what I'm saying? Liam, Liam Neeson style. I was going to say, dude, you just, uh, vicinity, Neeson, like you just rapped something there. Yeah, I sound like Lynn manuel Miranda. Oh, yeah. That's how we <laughs> rapped. We were taken in the vicinity, yeah. Yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> I was taken in the second the Batman Mahagan. Like, that's absolutely Lynn manuel Miranda. Put bacon in it. Yeah, no. So, uh, so that was his thing. But then there was like the rumor like, yo, this dude, I seen him sucking balls or something. And then... You know, he kind of disappeared for a little bit, but now he's back and he's on TikTok. And his new thing is he has like a tagline that he says in every video. And I went through his videos. I need to hear some of these. No, it's just one. What's the videos? It's like him just sitting in his car and like someone's filming him while he's driving. And he's like, you know what it is? You know what it is? It's a beautiful day to fuck a dude. That's the tagline. What? Yeah, he like... That's awesome! <laughs> fully leaned into this That's penis. That's full cool! Yeah, he fully leaned into this penis stuff, and now he's like, his tagline is about all, fucking dudes. Dude, first of all, always a beautiful day to fuck a dude. I was gonna ask, is there any sort of weather where it's not cool to fuck so a dude? So are you asking, like, what's the... Like, if you're a no, 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 man, I'm, what's the sh- gayest weather? No, I'm it's trying... It's snow. No. 
No, I'm saying, <laughs> I'm saying is like, cause like you know, at first when I heard that, I'm like, damn, yo, like if I was into dudes, like it'd be like a, that'd be an awesome line. For the most part, it's a beautiful day to fuck a dude, like on out of here every day. But I also think that like you know, when it's overcast, I probably it probably not cool. No, day. but some people want to turn their day around with fucking dudes. Yeah, but like I just need sunlight. I get that. You're a sunny. You're a sunny guy. I like sunlight, so I feel like those are beautiful days to. But fuck what about dudes. moonlight? Some people really dude, like love moonlight. that moonlight. moonlight? Oh, that moonlight? was a movie too about gay guys. Was it? Moonlight. I'm pretty sure. Barry Jenkins, am I wrong there? I'm pretty sure I'm right. It's the wrong, but, wrong show. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we canceled that one. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, uh, yeah. I, it's I, a beautiful day to, to fuck, a, fuck a dude. Every single time. I'm going to try and find a video. Please, though. please. Not but, of him f- fucking a dude. No, no, no. I've already seen that video. Oh, you have? Yeah, I saw it. Way back in the day, fine. I had to. I had to. You had to look. Yeah, I had that to was look. like when Stormy Daniels first came out. Like everyone needed to look at what she's got. Working. Oh, I've 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 watched a Stormy. Uh oh. Why is your face like that? What have you seen? Oh uh, damn. No. What have, what have you seen? No, nah, these are these are like the old videos of him like with his guns. Like I want. I want, I want the new fucker dude. Guy. Let's be, also let's be honest. He's ugly as fuck. There's some stuff that he needs to work. He on, needs yes. those fucking teeth. <laughs> Looks like he swallowed a grenade. Okay, this is it. This is it. I think. Yeah, so dude. Yeah, dude. Dude, that's awesome. Yeah. I wish I had days where I would be like, yo, it's a beautiful day to fuck a dude. I want to know who's filming. Who's going with him to fuck a dude? This is a three-way dude fuck. This is a three-way dude fuck. Damn, dude. A throod fuck. Yeah. That's kind of awesome. A throod fuck. Three dudes is too much testosterone for a sex party. No way. Definitely, definitely requires cleanup. You know, that's actually a fun fact. Not very fun, actually. Um... Fucking gender roles in men, specifically in gay relationships, is actually a big issue. Because, like... Who's the wife? Well... That was a bad way of putting it. Yeah. You know what I mean. (laughs) No, but it's true. It's like, uh, I know that, like, abuse in particular in gay relationships is a big fucking issue. Because gender roles are different in gay relationships. Yeah, I mean, I haven't even... So, definitely not a fun fact. I definitely... Yeah. But a fact. But a fact. I mean, you could probably dispute it because anything is disputed nowadays. Because it's like, well, listen, I read The Daily Beast, and guess what I found? The Daily Beast? It's a website I, I know of. Cool. Yeah. but uh, The Daily Beast must be a lot of targeted ads of, like, Mountain Dew for you. Yeah, and it's, it's written by Mr. Beast. I'm telling you right now, you put your hand on this car, and you'll find out that the Clintons are all racist. So... That's Kermit the Frog. And Mr. Beast. He sounds like that, doesn't he? I don't he? Really, really know what he sounds like, but he gives away a lot of money. You know, Miles... Have you ever seen Collins Key? I've met that man. Oh, have you? Yeah, I Oh, have. that's kind of cool. Was he cool? Yeah, he was a nice guy. Miles watches so much of his shit. He was like a magician back he then. He started off as a magician, you know, like, what's behind your ear? What were you doing? Well, you're making an orb. You went like this. Uh, well, that, or, or snowball. Do you remember those magicians that had just like the invisible balls and it was just a metal ball in another clear ball? I don't really know about that, but that was very Goku. It was, right? Kamehameha Mahaha. That's not it either. I think it is. That's a curse in Hawaiian. Is it? I don't know. Oh. It I don't think like Hawaiian it. is the language. I think it's like Maori or something like that. I don't like to like be that. corrected. We are never wrong here. <laughs> But, uh, what was I saying? See, now I forgot you saying this. No, Collins Key. Oh, yeah. Miles watches a bunch of his shit. And I was watching thinking, like, yo, they waste a lot of money on, like, food. Like, these fucking YouTubers. What does he do? He's just like, he'll be like, oh, I'm going to make the biggest pizza ever out of fucking hot dogs. And it's like, what are you doing? And he wastes, like, pounds of food. And I'm just, like, sitting there. And I'm like, god damn, that's kind of sad. Maybe he give, maybe he eats it. Well, he, 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 he Listen to me right now. The way that he makes this shit, it's inedible. Really? Oh, yeah. It's fucking disgusting. Why? Because it's just gross. Like, he puts, like, gelatin in, like, a hot dog, and it's, like, a hot dog jelly. Ew. Yeah. Oh, I just got my spit thing. That was one of the grossest things I've ever heard, honestly. Yeah. And I've heard things. What else have you heard? I've heard people pooping in airports <laughs> and stuff. Have you? One time I was at the airport, and a guy, like, full-on, like, Dumped. forced out a shit. Dumped? Yeah, like, you know when you're in public, and you're like, I'm trying to ever so slightly just... Let this poop guide its way into the silent toilet bowl. You should work for our friends over at Headspace. Yeah. Yeah. Silent poop into the toilet bowl, and nobody hears a thing. They just think you're peeing. 
But really, you're taking a fat shit. So I'm over there trying to be polite with the silent poop. And the guy in the stall next to me, and this is a true story, not fabricated at all. Oh, all right, comedian. Like, <laughs> <laughs> Go ahead. True story. Yeah. No, but I, I was on my way to Utah. Dude, when I tell you, I was honestly like jealous of the confidence of being like, I'm just going to fucking shit. <laughs> you know? And like, because I, I, I can't. I have too much like... A lot right. of Mormons are different. They're built different. Well, I wasn't. I was in New York. Still. Oh, <laughs> yeah, I wasn't in Utah yet. This guy, dude, it sounded like this. <laughs> I was like, "Yo, he's spitting. <laughs> he's spitting wind out of his butt." It, l- <laughs> it was a turbine in there. It, it sounds like it. It was, it was like. <laughs> it was disgusting. Oh my god! And like, there was no trying to mess the sound. There was was no, it like one of those where like he was pooping and air was coming out at the same time? So it was like, <laughs> like one of those. What? Uh, it literally was like that. Was I can't like, begin to express how how much I hate the fact that all of our bodies poop. It fucking pisses me off. You just want to meet one person who doesn't. I just want to just no one poop anymore. Just like let's figure out another way for you our don't body like to get pooping rid of. though. No. It's what? not an enjoyable experience, and it shouldn't be talked about. What? Relief, dude. It's, it's not hard. fucking relief. I mean, maybe it's relief for certain people, but, like, it's fucking gross. I'll be honest Yo, with you. Yo, do you... Have you seen the shit that your body makes? Yeah, it's not sick. That's very humbling. That's why fucking Kim Jong-un convinced a country of North Koreans that he doesn't poop. Did he do that? Yeah. Oh, that's on them, then. <laughs> that's a bad... That's a bad like, belief. Figure it out, you know? Guy shits. I mean, we all do. What a weird thing to convince people of. Like, I am the second coming. I don't poop. Why is that where you believe people are going to view your impurities? Yeah, like, tell me you fly. Then I'll be like, cool. No, that people need to see that. No one's going to ask to watch him poop. Oh. Oh, yes, they will. Hey. <laughs> need you? See- oh, I want to see this. this all right. right. Okay, hold on. Important question here. I need to redo my hair for this. How many pooping porns have you watched? Honestly. Be full honest. Full on honest. Pooping porn? I assume that's a thing. I, well, no, I haven't. I've only seen Two Girls, One Cup. It's not very popular. I've seen okay. some other stuff, though. Like what? I've seen, like, Aerodactyl porn. That's a Pokemon. Wait, I'm not. No, pterodactyl, <laughs> oh, I have to say. okay. <laughs> Pterodactyl's a fossilized dinosaur. <laughs> that's a Pokemon. It is a Pokemon. No, yeah, no, they're like pterodactyls. But it was also, it was like. Man- pterodactyls are. Ancient, you know that, right? Yeah, yeah, they're, okay. they're an ancient bird. Okay, okay. Slash dinosaur hybrid, if we're getting technical. But there, there was people dressed up as pterodactyls. They weren't actual pterodactyls. But they were, like, and they were fucking this woman. Okay. Uh, I've seen, um, you know, actually in other people's lives, we talked to a girl who was, like, a porn star uh, in, like, training. Like, she had just broken into the oh, scene or whatever. Oh, she was just, like, going through, the like, the training center? She, she had, uh, yeah, she had just... Uh, was making videos at home with her boyfriend or husband or whoever. Amateur, very amateur. Very amateur, but like, she was verified on Pornhub. But she had a video where she was dressed as Princess Jasmine, mm-hmm. and then her husband or whoever was dressed as the genie, and he was having sex with her, obviously. Yeah. But also at a certain point, he put the fucking lamp in her. So we need to stop. He put the lamp in her shit. So like that is dangerous because if you watch the movie, the genie comes out of the lamp. Clearly there's and he goes back in the lamp. Mm-hmm. Clearly there's some suction kind of thing. Yeah, there's that's a vacuum there. You could get caught. With this is that. weird. This is very weird. Yeah, I've seen a lot of weird things with sex. See, it's like all of that stuff Not is because so... I'm like around. You're a weirdo. You could say it. Well, I'm Curious. You're curious. There it is. I'm curious. You, you're bi curious. I get it. I'm not bi curious. Oh, I almost got him. I'm. <laughs> I almost got him to admit he's bi curious on here, guys. Yeah, no, I'm. I'm. I'm curious to see what's going on in in people's, you know, houses. Uh, have you ever been one of those people that like you watch porn with a significant other and then recreate Never. it? Never. Yeah, that's that a weird thing. So weird. That's a very weird thing to do. Or like sometimes I'll see a a, a porn video, and then in that video. Like, it's like an amateur video, 
and then like in the background on their TV, they also have porn on. So it's like it's pornception. This is a lot. Of, it's a lot of porn. It's a wind tunnel of sex. Yeah. <laughs> you know of what I'm. And watching. guess what? It probably was. Great day to fuck a dude. It was a great day to fuck a dude. It was a great day. Yo, good for that guy though. He I, he really leaned into it and like it was it was very interesting. But I just discovered it the other day and I was like, damn, this guy. That's some confidence that I like. That's like there's nothing that I do on this planet that I'm that like confident about. You know what I mean? Like, oh, it's a great day to go to work. Never. Yeah. Could be fired. Could be. And never have I had the confidence like that. Be like, great day to fucking do. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty cool. Good for him. Uh, Joey, I so uh, I for the new year, I, I did a juice cleanse. I'm stuck. You already did it? I'm stuck. Well, I'm doing it. By the time this comes out, I've already done it. Oh, how many days? There's just three days. You better be careful with that. Just cleanse. three. Well, yeah, because fucking Twitter, all the all the fat fucks on Twitter are gonna be get mad at me. <laughs> Too much. <laughs> no, nah, but <laughs> no, Liz, Lizzo. Give Josh a call. Josh, uh, we're gonna have to edit that one out, Josh. Uh, no, so on Twitter though. Lizzo did like a juice cleanse or some shit on her Instagram story and people went were irate. Why? Because like certain people and, and like <laughs> Frankie was being funny but obviously yeah. I'm it being was, funny. It was it was like overweight people who were getting very upset with Lizzo because they were like, "Oh, you're it's the same thing with Adele, dude. Like once Adele was like, "Oh, I'm going to lose a bunch of weight." People were like, "Oh my god, uh she fell to societal norms yeah. and she's conforming and she's trying to play it's like bro people just want to be fucking healthy dog like the issue I mean? listen i i i and that's the thing is like yes is there a societal standard that a smaller thinner person uh, to an unhealthy degree is viewed as beautiful absolutely but just because like you Wait, are what like the what society views as beautiful are people that are significantly much smaller. I but don't like, to necessarily an agree, though. No, I, I it definitely is. I feel like that's why things like that's why things like you know like uh, photo editing and stuff is like pretty fu- like it's a fucked up industry. I think though the days of being like supermodels are these like tall, thin, whatever is like out the window. Like I don't think that like no one even like looks like that, and like no one ever looked like that. Except these like small select food. They, they were in very unhealthy but that's, like, situations. Out of style. Like now, like a thicker, like more voluptuous, tit booty kind of girl is what, you know. The Kardashians are a good example of like they got surgeries and shit. I, I, I have a very like her, I, her butt's a little her butt's weird. I'm going. I go back and forth with the Kardashians. Dude. I think I really all, have to admit because they're I, all hot. I I don't personally like. I I think they're pretty. Like they're pretty. They're good looking people. Yeah. But. I think that they are such a confusing, like, and, and not necessarily, and I was having this conversation the other day too, it's like, not necessarily by their own design, but they are such a confusing family because it's like, you don't know if they're good for society or bad for society. Because listen, Kim is studying, she's trying to become a lawyer, you know, like she is really trying to get after I'm a that. big Kim. And good for her, like- honestly, good for her. I think that's great to use her fucking platform to do that, but at the same time, Unfortunately, they have succumbed to standards of beauty that are, in some ways, unhealthy. And for younger, for a younger generation of people, and I'm not saying that them as individuals need to be held responsible. I understand that it's above them, and it's a fucking you know, it's a world that we live in that values the way that people look over other people. It's the parents. But at the same time, like, if you're going to sit there and you're able to make a change in one way, there are other ways you need to be able to also address that change. You know, like it's in my opinion, in my in my humble opinion, because I'm very humble. <laughs> look how humble I am. Uh, <laughs> if you if you have a platform like that and you do succumb to those standards, whether it came first or second, like you have a sense of responsibility to make for contributing to it. I don't necessarily agree because I think that like as a person, like I, I think it all falls back on like the parents. Like if, if your kid sucks or if your kid like whatever, it's your fault. Like I, I honestly believe that. And also because like there's a lot of things that you could curb, like certain people that they're hanging out with or whatever. Like you have control over that to a certain point and then your kid takes over their own life and then they can do whatever the fuck they want. But if this is children that we're talking about, then it's the parents' fault. Like don't let them do whatever. But you can't blame Kim Kardashian because at the end of the day, if Kim Kardashian, Kim Kardashian feels like – Yo, I want a big fat ass that looks ridiculous. And she goes out and gets it. That's her prerogative. That's her ro- absolutely, and it's, absolutely. It's, absolutely. And it's not her like fault or her like responsibility to be like, "No, what you're doing is you're destroying like 
little girl's well, views of like what's pretty. It's like, dude, that's not my fault. But, that, like, but, that, I but that's look why like I this. say that's why I say it's a bit of a double standard because I, although like uh, the big thing that it comes back to with the, with that family is the amount of plastic surgery they've done. People, it's a very easy joke for people. Yeah, to but make. I don't think it's but, fair to to tell to say that I'm plastic sa- surgery is wrong. I'm not I'm not saying that plastic surgery is wrong, but at the same time, it is a bit of a double standard because although I do fully believe that women should have the autonomy and the ability to make the decisions that they want with their own body and no one else should tell them. At the same time, if we as a society, and this is why I said it's not necessarily their fault as individuals, it's a larger issue, but if they are the ones that are being considered the elite and they look a certain way and they've gotten plastic surgery done, like it's, it, can it be considered unhealthy? Now, again, I don't think them as individuals, as a family, need to be held entirely responsible for that. Because no, I'm saying they're not responsible at all. To, but, but the argument could be made that they, they do have to take some semblance of responsibility. I disagree. Okay. I mean, that's why you're a fucking white bitch. Yeah. And you don't agree with But, like, with why them. do you think they have... Like, why should they live their life according to how, like, everyone views... Like, I don't understand that. What, 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 ask that again. Like, compare it to something, like, different. Like, if they want to look like that, they want to look a certain way... Because they have insecurities or... And like, yo, it's a vicious circle because they're in the spotlight like that. Like, yeah, obviously, especially fucking Chloe and Kylie have gotten crazy amounts of plastic surgery on their faces and shit. You could argue that the reason why they have that is not because they're trying to destroy the idea of beauty or this and that. But it's because they've been berated Constantly, dude, and, and that's why I, society. That's why I said it's, like, it's yo, a you guys double, are fucking hideous. That's why I'm saying it's a double edged sword. Like it's it's like doomed if they do, doomed if they don't. You no, know what but I mean? That's and, the thing. I, and that's I why it's think, a bigger issue above them. No, I don't think they are at fault for that at all. Like I don't think they should do whatever the fuck they want to do. And it's on TV shows, like whatever the fuck. But it's like, bro, we are like, if you guys want to create a standard of what people should look like. That's on you, bro. That's not on whoever is But then we look back, then we look back in 50 years when there's a new standard and we say all the people that conform to what that standard were were part of the problem. That's the that's the issue that I'm saying. I don't all agree right. and I'm saying I don't agree. I don't agree. I think that it is ever changing. And that's why when we go back to the Lizzo thing, it also ties in is because just because this person wants to do something to their body and try to live a different lifestyle doesn't mean that they need to conform to what every that doesn't mean that they're conforming to what everything else is like yeah. individuality and being able to make those decisions for yourself is kind of where we would want to be also like everyone conforms like everybody and it's not that they're like oh like their entire person is conforming it's just like certain things you just conform to that's what fashion is you're conforming to what trends are fads are like what's in style what looks good like whatever everything that i have ever said or done or things that i wear has has been influenced in some way someone else has worn their shirt a certain way someone else has worn this piece of clothing i saw this or i think this brand is cool i was introduced it in this way or like whatever it's been influenced so you conform all the time and like conforming to living a healthier life or like doing a a quick juice cleanse, which by the way, she did a juice cleanse just because she was fucking, she ended up saying like, she had to fucking explain herself because these people were like, oh, this is ridiculous. She's, she's, juice cleansing is actually very dangerous for your body because then these fucking 11, 11 year olds suddenly become dietitians and they're like actually it's not really good because I googled it dude for a all of these people on Twitter can just sit on a finger it's insane it's insane so like she like she's just doing a fucking juice cleanse dude like at the end of the day it's like she can do whatever the fuck she wants if she wants to lose weight she's gonna lose weight like just because she's doing that doesn't mean she's conforming to society or whatever the fuck blah 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 it's like yo maybe some people like just want to do shit that yeah. you don't agree with dude and that's why i also have a love hate relationship with twitter because half of twitter is fucking hysterical the other half is like a fucking any idiot in the world now can express their stupid fucking opinion i forgot who was talking about this it might have been uh chris stefano but friend, I'm not, friend of the show. Friend, friend of mine. Show. Really Love good him. friend of mine, yeah. <laughs> no, but I Chris, think... Chris, let's hang out. I think Chris said this where he was like, Twitter is just is just crazy, right? So like the cancel culture and like all that shit, it's not really real. Like it only lives on the internet. Like you don't really see this happening in real life. Like mm-hmm. you read about it and you see it on Twitter, but in real life, you don't really see this. And especially with the younger kids who are usually the ones that are like full-blown attacking, attacking and canceling people... You only really read about them. And then when you see children, like 12-year-olds in real life, they're not like that. You know, they're just, they're quiet and they're like, 
you know, wherever they are, mm-hmm. for the most part. So it's very, it's like, at a certain point, you just have to be like, this is just bullshit. Yeah, like, this it's is just fucking, fake. It's, it's fraudulent. Yeah, it's like, it's a, it's a game. It's, it's just fabricated. not, yeah, it's just not real. You know, yeah. like, your life, your real life, like, in person is like, what matters? You know what I mean? But I will also say that now more than ever, it's like, this fake life is catching up. Because when we first started, when I first started out, like, 2011 or 2010, whatever the fuck it was, um, the internet was still not a place where it was like, yo, I'm going to spend all my time doing this and be fully connected to people. Like I didn't have Twitter or Instagram when I first started making videos even. Um, I just had Facebook and, you know, then like whatever. And even like texting wasn't like group chats weren't a thing and you could only talk to people one-on-one. So you didn't really text like that. You just still saw your friends. And then slowly you're like, you can have friends who you never see. Like I go months without seeing most of my friends, but I don't really feel that way because I talk, talk to, them to them constantly every day. Yeah. So yeah. it's, it's, it's just different. Like this, this digital world that is like insanely like it's infectious and it's like addicting and it's just not real. And people like have this different, uh, way that they handle themselves like they're much more like braver with what they'll say and have you ever noticed the people the people that are the loudest like when those things come up for instance like lizzo and stuff like that you only see them in there and then they're gone like they don't have any opinions about anything else you know what i mean like you'll never hear like no one and they'll never be like yeah i i i fucking i fucking said that you know what i mean like they live in that moment in that situation very passionately and we have learned in some ways on like twitter to fucking listen to the loud minority and believe that that it is the representation of the entire fucking world like dude leave fucking lizzo alone if she wants to if she wants to fucking put her body through drinking only beet juice for fucking three days like you're not to do oh dude let her do it man because guess what have you done this before by the way not a full-on juice cleanse no like i i I, so i try to have like juices like basically like for the month of november and december like my breakfasts were just juice what is poop when you juice it's it's not it's not it's like not that's you're missing something no but like your body just takes in nutrients and like just like works on like burning off fat so you don't poop i don't know I guess we'll find out. Yeah. I guess will. we'll find out. I know like the first day it like cleans your body out because it's all like, again, juicing takes the fiber out of stuff. It's like anti-inflammatory. But it's, like, and- it's like, it just fucking like lets your body just like, just get rid of it, everything. And especially yeah. because like, I'll be drinking a lot New Year's Eve by myself and eating like shit by myself. <laughs> and my body's going to rid itself. Nice. You're going to need that. Lord knows. And last thing I want to say about this whole situation is not the situation, but like just this idea in general, right? Because like some of the stuff that we say on this show, a lot of people would be like offended by or pick apart and eventually try to work its way into being whatever the fuck. I don't even care. But I'm seeing like a crazy amount, especially on TikTok, of people just like wanting. It, to me, it just looks like a desperate want to make an impact. Like people just want to say something and be the catalyst and either like a, a cancel or like a fucking, fucking pitchfork march against somebody. You know what I mean? Like, I feel like they just want to be like, I'm bringing up this point of view of like, oh, actually this is offensive because of this reason. And look how educated I sound because I'm giving you the history behind it. And it's like someone was making like a harmless joke or they said something that you're like taking out of context. And then like you're framing it with this like one bit of like historical knowledge you have. And then wanting like for what? Like you just want to be the catalyst and like bringing someone down or like whatever. Like it, it doesn't just, make like, sense. Not, yeah. It's just not like that even stuff- if people make an insensitive joke, it's like you have to think about the intent with a joke. Like it's like you're joking. But that's when it goes but, that, but, but that's feelings. why it's easy and and from like lack of better terms it's easier for people like us who have a platform where it's like yo one of the reasons that people and I see it all the time when people talk about this is like one of the pe- reasons that they like the basement yard and other shit is it's because they feel like they're part of the conversation they're in here. We're not trying to be like, yo, like super fucking woke. Like, yo, listen, I'm not trying to be like fucking John Oliver here and preach to people or Seth Meyers. You know what I mean? Like Seth I, Meyers. I enjoy them both as comedians. I think they're funny, but they can be a little snobby and preachy. But what I'm saying is like, 
part of the conversation and it's easier for us is because people know that we're not going to, we're not fucking, you know, like Jew hating whiteies out here. You know what I mean? Like they know that we're fucking progressive people. So when someone every now and then makes a joke that like could be considered offensive, it's like, oh, well, I know that that person's not going to, right? you know, and it's like, well, take that into the real world. And that, and that, and that honestly is a perfect example of like what I mean is like, yo, know, if, if you like know of a person, right? Like, you know, uh, you know, whatever. That's a perfect example. Like people know us or like they know like kind of like our beliefs or whatever. And it's like you hear us say something that like could maybe be insensitive or whatever. You said fat fucks before. I did say fat fucks. You know, so a lot of people could be like, dude, that's fucked up. Like, well, so- guess what? Skinny fucks, uh, Spanish fucks, white fucks. Ripped fucks. Ripped fucks. <laughs> You're all fucks. Big dick fucks. <laughs> Like, oh, I could use that for anything. Yeah. You know, it's just it's just a matter of who I use it for. Right. No, but like some people could be like really upset by that and write this long thing. And it's like, why are we doing like, what is the point of this? Like, why can't you just understand like intent and like joke and like just have a good time? Like this and, and it's I because mean, you- of this fake world, like you just want to make an impact. And that's because in your real life, you can't make an impact as easy as you can online. I, I think to an extent, like there are certain things that it's like, yo, like it was used for legitimate harm. You know what I mean? Like that's totally different. That's yeah, totally okay. different. But like if I'm sitting here and I'm saying fat fucks, like that's not offensive because guess what? They're fat fucks. You know? <laughs> no, I'm kidding. But like in, in that way, like it, it, people know that like the compassion that we have as individuals. So like if you're like watching someone and they're sitting there and they're like, yeah, like let's fucking burn all the homeless people at the stake and stuff. Like yeah, we got a bigger problem on that's our hands. That's an issue. You know? But for the most part, we're very compassionate young boys. Yeah. You know, and we just love to like, just like touch people's hearts. We're just young boys trying to touch other boys. Oh, no, that's not what right we are. To the phone. Right Josh, to the phone. <laughs> obviously take that out. Maybe just take this whole take thing whole out. Take the whole episode. Take the whole thing out. Just with the whole episode. Maybe take one of those fat fucks out. Maybe just <laughs> replace me. He's gone already. Yeah, he's, he's, he's got the phone. All right, we got friends of the show. I'm sure they're gonna love this episode. Oh, man. <laughs> Oh, Kelly, don't look at me. Will they get upset at us for this episode? Who? The friends? Oh, I don't know. <laughs> never talked to them. Never, never touched the stuff. Uh, moving on. We got two friends. Uh, first one is ExpressVPN. Uh, ExpressVPN lets you control where you want sites to think you are. Okay, so this is basically like a teleportation device for streaming services, right? You could use it for Netflix, for Disney+, Plus, Hulu, BBC iPlayer, whatever the fuck that is, by the way. Um, you name it. You can use it for anything. But it, it, it opens up your world, basically. So if you're a fan of anime, you can use ExpressVPN to make yourself look like you're in Japan. And then you will have uh, all these anime selections that aren't available in the United States or Canada or wherever. And you can watch Japanese Netflix, all right? So I know a lot of people are super into anime. I've actually myself have thought anime has such a crazy cult following that it might be sick and I should check it out, but I haven't done that yet, mainly because I'm 28. But anyway, uh, ExpressVPN also allows you to watch movies and shows. Uh, It's also ridiculously fast. It's the one to use because nothing buffers. It's in HD. It works with all your devices, phones, tablets, media consoles, smart TVs, you know, whatever. You're, You're everything that works. Um, and if you visit our special link, expressvpn.com slash yard, you get an extra three months of ExpressVPN for free. Uh, but yeah, support the show, watch what you want, and get your holiday fix at expressvpn.com slash yard. Uh, and again, that gets you an extra three months free of uh, ExpressVPN. All right, so go check it out. You can watch anything in the world. Go watch some Australian stuff or maybe some British stuff, Frank. I love it, British. <laughs> Uh, and our next friend here is Quip. You know what I'm saying? If you watched my Instagram story this morning, you already know I had the Quip in my mouth when I was talking because I Quip it up every day. Quip me, baby. Quip it one more time. I'm going to go, just, I'll call him afterwards. <laughs> uh, but anyway, so Quip, it's a, an electric toothbrush. It's amazing. I love it. It doesn't make your gums bleed or anything like that. It's got a vibrating thing on it that has a pulse timer every 30 seconds that lets you know when to switch sides. Do you have a Quip? You don't? No, I don't. I got to get you one. Please. Um, please. <laughs> also, Quip has been adding some stuff to their arsenal, okay? I think they have floss. They have gum. It can help prevent cavities and freshen breath when chewed for 20 minutes after eating. It's sugar-free, has tooth-friendly xylitol with zero calories. Don't know if that's right. Um, and 
to satisfy your taste buds, Quip also added a long-lasting mint flavor. Okay, so they're making gum that's like good for you, which is sick. Um, so they, you can go check out everything that they have. You can, uh, oh, the Slim Travel Ready Dispenser, available in five colors, metal or plastic, packs and uh, pack and oh my God. protects up to ten pieces of gum at a time. Protect your gum. Um, add a, a gum refill plan for a gift that keeps on giving all year round. Quip's customizable subscription lets you chew and share at your own pace. Um, so yeah, go check out Quip. They got a lot of stuff. They got a lot of stuff to keep your mouth clean. All right, in there. Uh, it's not a substitute for brushing or flossing, but it's still great. But yeah, go get Quip. Um, getquip.com slash basement. Right now you get a free plastic dispenser with any refill plan. That is getquip, G-E-T-Q-U-I-P.com slash basement. Uh, go check them out and go get some stuff. I want some gum. I love gum. I haven't really chewed gum this year. I gotta chew gum. I I got I always have gum in my car, so I always I'm always a chewy chewy boy. You're always chewing on a chewing gum. You're gang. chewing always. Yeah yeah yeah. So uh, it's cool. I kind of hate. I just what you're... my phone to 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 the fuck a man, fuck a dude guy. Gotcha. Yeah. I hate so much of what you're doing with your shirt right now. That's one of my biggest pay peeves. Pay peeves when you roll up long sleeves and you ruin the sleeve. Yeah, but now look at them. Yeah, I hate, but like, it's not the sleeve that you ruin, but like, it's this part that you ruin now. It's all stretched out. Look at that. Look at that sleeve of, uh, you know, the hangs like vagina of wizard, you know? Sleeve of wizard. It's not vagina. I know what I'm talking about. Wizards don't have vaginas. What's a female wizard? Witch. Good answer. Is it? I think so. Remember how cool the name for a male witch was? A warlock? Warlock. Yeah, you never heard that? A warlock. I've only heard warlocks in terms of like talking about big tits. <laughs> and like super bad. It's like I gotta get a glimpse of those warlocks. Did you see that? Yeah. <laughs> Anytime I watch that movie, I find something new to laugh at. Every single time. To me, the funniest scene is when he's like, <laughs> You look like whoever's brother. You look like someone's brother. And then he brother. like leans back on his heels and comes forward. That is just genius. It's just genius it's, to me. It's, that movie is one of the few movies that I consider perfect. I love that whole group. Like the Jonah Hill, Seth Rogen. Like, <laughs> ha, fuck me, right? Dude. Is honestly one of the... It's, it's one of the most quotable movies of all time. It is. It's up there with Anchorman. Anchorman's a big quotable movie. Yeah. You know? But like, I remember the I'm first time... Big Wedding Crashers girl. Wedding Crashers are good too. All comedies, you know? What happened to them? I think they're making a sequel to Wedding Crashers. I love Vince Vaughn. You have no idea. I watched. Did you watch Freaky? Where he plays him. It's like Freaky Friday, but with a serial killer. No. Yeah. I don't know if you know Catherine Newton, but she's an actress. And uh, her and Vince Vaughn swap bodies. And like Vince Vaughn's character is the, the, the serial killer. So like his, like it's the young girl's body in Vince Vaughn. It's gotcha. fucking hysterical. He That's does good. a great job. He does a really good job doing it. And it brings up another question I have, Joey, because, all right. In this movie, spoiler, it, whatever, he, <laughs> it's, it's a grown man's body, but it's the soul or like the mind or whatever of like a 16-year-old girl. Hold on. Go ahead. And he makes out with a, a boy that she's into, so he's like a 17-year-old boy. Is that – so like if, we, if you Freaky Friday with Becca and I made out with you, but it's really my wife. Thanks for hanging up. <laughs> I appreciate that. Is that gay? For who? Me. You're kissing a boy? I'm, but it's, it's the soul of my wife. <clears throat> this, is no. No, this goes back to like Striking Vipers, no, 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 that no, episode I, of Black Mirror. No, I think that, I think that uh, gayness is souls. It's souls, right? It's yeah. not bu- it's well, it's physicality. Also, it's also penises. It's penis. It it's is also a, penises. Penis is a big part of it. Penis is a big part of it, but it's also souls. But like, so it like, it, but it, that's what I'm saying. Like, if you, if you kiss, if you found out that me and J Lo switched bodies, and it was I was J Lo. No, I definitely it would be. I'd just text you, be like, "Yo, you're J Lo." <laughs> Sorry, but we gotta put, we gotta fuck. Yeah, we gotta <laughs> go on. I just want to see your butt. Would you be like in every of these movies, every single one of them? The first thing they do is they instantly touch their boobs and their butt. Would that be the first thing you would do if you became J Lo? What, what else am I gonna do? <laughs> Go be rich. Go to the gym. Go be rich. Yeah. Go be rich. Yeah, just like and send, do what? Like, send yourself money. Send my from 
What? Just send money from JLo's account. Oh, to the real to name. the real Joe. Oh, that's what I'm saying. That's a good idea. That's other things you could do. Wow. Yeah. No, I would just probably program my phone, my number into her phone. If like, <laughs> <laughs> so weird. I mean, it's, you got you got to do what you got to do. Yeah. But like, you strike me as one of the, like the first things you would do is masturbate. <sighs> I'm more interested in getting railed. Really? I think that would be cooler. If I don't know how to masturbate as a girl. I would probably do a terrible job. It would take me years. Or you learn. But that's the thing. I don't think like... It would take you years. Yeah, dude. <laughs> like, like this is a fucking degree. Yeah, dude. I mean, I mean, penises are a little easier to kind of handle. It's like one thing that you do. You do this. Yeah, and then yeah, you, know, so yeah, you got to yeah, do it. Yeah. Um, but even still, there was, like a, there was like a little bit of a learning curve when you first started doing that. You know, at first you were using like one finger and everyone was like, what are you doing? And then you saw pictures of people using their whole hand. You're like, this is cool. And then you're like, oh, I could add some like something slick to this. Some like, you know, some like oil. Or some moisture. Some moisture. So yeah, and then you like learn along the way. You get good at it. I guess. But we're talking about vaginas here. We're talking about the the, the human Rubik's Cube. Yeah, I was going to say it's the, a Rubik's the Cube. The endless chamber of secrets. Yeah, that thing I'm is not a, figuring that thing out the first try. That thing is a maze, man. There's no way. Yeah. What's What was that, that picture that people said was like wrong? The MC Escher picture? And it's like, that's not like the stairs are upside down. Like, where are we in here right yeah, now? Yeah, like it's like an optical illusion. You're like, I don't even know. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you'd figure it out. You just find the, well, the, it, beep, the beep bop that it does the best thing for you. I know. I but mean, then again, it's also different because if you take your mind and put it into her body, is it what find, what you find sexy? So if you find pineapple sexy and she finds, you know, cucumbers, you know? Yeah. Well, well, then you just still find pineapple sexy and just, just go to town on yourself with a pineapple. Probably wouldn't do that. <laughs> I don't know if that's safe. Have you ever... Dude, I remember... The- Yo, also pineapples, when I was growing up, I was like led to believe that they were spiky. Not spiky. Uh, well, they're not soft. Dude, the day before I graduated from college, I was drunk and bit through a pineapple. I couldn't... I kid you not. I've never felt pain like that in my entire life. It was so acidic that my bot, like my mouth was like raw. It was like raw skin. It was acidic. Yeah, it's a, it's a tropical fruit. It's an acidic fruit, like an orange or a grapefruit. But not that acidic. It was very, dude, I bit through it and my mouth was raw. What was in the middle of this thing? Batteries? Just, just basically. <laughs> it's like I was sucking on batteries for fucking, just sucking on D's for like a whole hour. That means something different. Or double A's. That, is that a bra size? I should have went with that. It, it is a bra size. A, double A's, B's, double B's. Double D's are real, right? Well, double D's. Double D's are big old titties. Yeah, big double D's are things. like fucking, you know, big old fat pouches of rice. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, fat pouches of rice. What do you think the... <laughs> probably gonna, I am. What do you think the... Uh, Average bra sizes in the country. I would say. And do you think it's going up? Um, I don't even know that. By, nat- by natural, like, maybe by, like, unnatural forces it's going up. But I would say. Unnatural? Unnatural. So, like, paranormal. No. Like, Ghosts. No, but, like, doing, like, plastic surgeries and stuff like that. Oh, oh. To just get fucking full-on cannons. Ew. What? Dude, I just typed in the average bra size, and the fucking Google things are like for a thirteen-year-old, for a fourteen-year-old, for a twelve-year-old. Ew! What the fuck? I don't want to know that. That's disgusting. In the world, you disgusting Google. That means people are looking. I would say what? I would say it's a B. They're huge. Tits are huge, apparently. Average bra. You you probably got some outliers in this equation. No, I, average breast size by country, twenty twenty. All right, big, biggest biggest things has got to be Dominican Republic. <laughs> no. Where is the Dominican Republic? Let me find it. DR, DR, DR. DR. It might just be classified in, like, all the other, like... No, it's a B. In DR? Yeah, I mean... Okay, what about U.S.? Yo, f- the United States is at the top, tied at the top with Norway, Finland, Sw- Sweden. Sweden's got... Canada? These white people got big old thing things. And Russian. Russia's. Russia. What the hell? <laughs> <laughs> I guess the Russians just got fucking... Yo, the average cup size is double D. That's what? crazy. Everyone's got fat knocks. That's wild. Those are natty. I knocks. will say, like, that has something to do with, like, women. Like, when wi- dude, when women get pregnant, their fucking balloons just go through the roof. Oh, yeah. It's like, you know, f- just bags. Dude, through the roof. <laughs> 
there's an inflating button on those sons of bitches. Hell yeah. Because well, they're just getting ready for the milk. For the milk. For the milk and everything. They suck on them. Right. Oh, God. What idiots. <laughs> Liechtenstein. 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 Why do you say it like that? Liechtenstein. Okay. Uh, is a D also. There's a lot of D. It cuts off at sea at uh, Montenegro. Okay. This I only know like a couple of Montenegrin girls. All of them got big boobs, though. Do they? I'm trying to think. Um, I, don't, I don't know. Who's got small boobs? Who's down here with small boobs? Mm. The smallest boobs in the world has got to be China. It is. Really? China's at the bottom. <laughs> China. Smallest dicks and smallest boobs. Indonesia's down there, too. Because they don't... No, Cambodia was the smallest. Where's oh. Cambodia? Where's Cambodia? Is Com- Cambodia going to get a B? Cambodia. Because Cambodia had the smallest penises when we did that episode. I think on Patreon we did that. Yeah. We are in B territory, and I haven't seen them yet, so maybe they're even at C. Where is Cambodia? Unless they're not on this list, that would be the ultimate sign of disrespect. Yeah, I don't see them. Luckily for you, Colombia, you guys are on D. Good job. Good job. Good job. I don't know how that has to do with me at all. You're Colombian. Oh. Maybe that's why I've gotten such fat tits over the last year. <laughs> <laughs> Since quarantine started. <laughs> oh, man. That is funny. No, I don't see them on here. Sorry. Yeah, they're not on here. All right. Whatever. That's big, dude. The average bra size, that's huge. Yeah, double D in, in the United States. That's that's a little out of control, isn't I don't, it? I feel like that's got to be like you have people with like it's normally like Bs, and then you have people that are like Qs, and then they're like, all right, let's just move it up to a D. Yeah, like like du- you got double Js. You got to – that's a problem. Yeah. Do, do you remember – Oh my God, I just remember this. When we were in high school. Oh boy. When we were in high school, there was a girl that we knew, but she had gone to elementary school with us. And we hadn't spoken to her or seen her. And then we had connected yet. There he goes. (laughs) Well, this has nothing to do with me. Yeah. (laughs) Yeah. So. Don't use names. I'm not. I'm not going to use names. Okay, cool. But there was a girl that we had not like seen in years. Mm Mm-hmm. And then we found her in high school, and we found out that she had a, she had she had an average bra she, size. She no, she had a larger than average bra size. Well, apparently, I mean, I remember she had F thirty twos. Wait, now I don't know what we're talking yep, about. Yup, yes, you do. And I remember we joked. Wait, elementary school? Yes. Well, no. When, when we were in elementary school, she didn't have F thirty twos. No, you idiots. I'm saying we went to elementary school. Yes, with her. yes, 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 yes. And then when we when we like refound her on like MySpace or Facebook in high school, she had F thirty twos. And I remember the joke was you were like, "Yo, hit her up when you turn thirty two and say thank you." What the fuck does that mean? <laughs> I remember it as, as clear as day. I remember this shit. Hit her up when you turn thirty two and, and just say, say thank, thank you. you. Yeah. That is not a thing. What does that mean? That's what you said. I remember it. I swear to God. Did I Did I say that? Did I think that was sick? I guess. I guess it was like a rock on moment for you. <laughs> Hit her up when you're 32 and say thank you. That doesn't even, that's not even a thought. That, that's what you did. Go ahead. What? What's, I, I thought you were talking about something else. Which we'll get into after the show. Yeah, because like. I think you know what I'm talking about. I I believe we do. It's just you're forgetting the embarrassing part of it, and I remembered it. You don't remember that part of it, do you? Which no, part? The part with the F-32s. Oh, no. that's not. What I'm, ta- I'm not talking about this they, girl at all. They, they sound like fighter jets. F-32, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it all was great until the F-32s came through my village. They th- <laughs> that's got to be uncomfortable, dude. Can you imagine? What does an F-32 even look like? No. The, <laughs> I came through my village. Um, I was talking about a different girl that we were actually younger than that. And then we found and like whatever. But that's a different story that we'll tell yeah. offline. Maybe maybe the year at which I remember this is different, but I remember specifically she she had I wanna, shared. What was she the, had, what's the first letter of her name? You, do you follow her on social media? I don't know. I don't. I, oh, don't, I, I don't, don't know where she is. Okay, so what's the first letter of her first name? E. Fuck is this? Yeah, 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 yeah. I don't know. If someone's gonna go through all of our, our, all of the people that we follow and look at every E that. But we like, know. I definitely don't follow. This I person. definitely don't either, unless by you know they, you know, turned their account into like something about like fucking poodles or some shit. You know, you follow a lot of poodle accounts. No, but like. There was someone recently, like I was on Instagram, and it was like they changed their name to like the Poodle at Dawn, and I was like, "Who the fuck is this?" <laughs> <laughs> and I clicked, and I had to like scroll like eight 
fucking times and I saw like someone that I knew in like college and I was like, oh, I'm unfollowing this person now because it's just like, it was a stupid fucking account. <laughs> the poodle had dog. Yeah, it was very dumb. Yeah. Very, very dumb. Great story. Great boobs. Great boobs. I good guess. Boobs. That's good gotta boobs suck there. though, dude. What, Fs? Like the back pain? Yeah, I don't know. It's crazy because like you ha- you see some girls that have like double Ds and like oh I'm getting a reduction, but then you see some people that have like H. Yeah, tits, and it's like very uncomfortable. Like, all right, if the double D person is getting like a reduction, then how is the H like even surviving? I guess like some people are just built different. You know, like some people are built strong backs. I guess it's like man. an ox. Yeah, they're like they they fucking supported it with like popsicle sticks, t- you know, taped around their body and shit like that. Like you they just know put your body in a splint. It's a splint. Yeah. Yeah, that's kind of wild. That's got to be insane. Like, what's like the biggest balls ever recorded? And like that guy was like in very like oh, in a I've lot of that. discomfort. No, yeah, he could sit on them. That's it was, it was like a beanbag chair. Oh my god, that's fucking awful. Can no, you imagine? Well, he he couldn't even like shower because he had to carry around these fat nuts. <laughs> It's true. Dude, his loads were probably like fucking buckets. Oh. Because that's where it's made, right? In the balls? It's made in the balls. Yeah. It it's got to be made in the balls. Well, it can't be made anywhere else. Where else should it be made? Not the butt. There's like a pathway, right? There's like a like a speedway, like a cum speedway in I'm your sh- dick. I'm sure there's, you know, there's like a, a sperm vein. A Spain. Right. I just probably said a very in- inappropriate word in some other country. Spain? You ever worry like that you're going to say something that's like super... Like, do you remember like it was like in China, the middle finger is the pinky? And it was yeah, like, but I don't think that's real. I don't think so either. We were just in third grade and idiots. Yeah. Where did... I, I heard that the middle finger came from like Native Americans... That, like, they were so good, like, such good archers and shit like that, that they would use their middle finger. So when they would, like, antagonize the pilgrims, they would show their middle fingers. That's fire. And be like, you didn't get these, and I'm going to shoot an arrow at you, and then you'll send me a smallpox blanket. Yeah. Because that's what they did. They did do that. Those bastards. Yeah. Hi. Whose ancestors were those? Yeah, that's kind of wild. <laughs> um, also, I, I know that before we were talking, like before we started this podcast, that uh, you suddenly want to become like an astronaut or something. No, but yes. But like, did you see? So like they made this thing, the Space Force, which we can agree unequivocally. Wait, is that the, the Steve Carell thing? Oh, no, but it's real. Oh, I thought you were talking about the TV show. No, no, no. The real <laughs> Space Force Yes. You know that it's real, right? I know that there's, like, NASA. No, no. <laughs> Donald notes. Trump made a branch of the military called the Space Force in real old life. So so this is Star Wars. So, he like, this isn't, like, a joke. There is now a branch of the military named the Space Force. Cool. Okay. And I never, like, uh, you know... I, I was I've never considered you ever considered joining like a branch of the military, you know, whether it be the army, the navy, the marines. Oh, no. Me neither. But now I might. Cuz you want to be a space force? Yes, because you hear what they're called? Space force. They're called guardians. Oh, they're not astronauts? They're called guardians. What dude. are they guarding? Exactly. It doesn't it just it's awesome. Like marines are cool cuz you know, they're like, you know, I guess like dolphins or whatever. Or is that the navy? Navy seals. They're seals. But like <laughs> <laughs> Dude, the Space Force, the Guardians? Oh, I'm just a Space Force Guardian. How fucking awesome is that? Yeah, but then you have to guard. I mean, listen, let's be honest. If there's anything out there, which there might be, they'll fuck us up easily. Yeah, it's, you're not guarding You're anything. not guarding anything. You're just a line of defense that will be... You're, 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 you're there to get run over. You're a house of straw. Yeah. You know? Huff and puff and blow your fucking blow house Blow your back out. Yeah. And there's no way that I won't join the Space Force now because I'd be a guardian of the galaxy. Question. No. So Elon Musk shot a rocket, mm-hmm. like, kind of into space. Mm-hmm. And, like, you, did you see that whole thing? It was on TV. I yeah, watched yeah, yeah. It. I watched it. I watched it. So if that, that – I'm assuming at some point in our lives – I don't know if it's going to be our lifetime. Maybe when we're, like, old like 65 or something, there will be some form of travel that's like quicker than airplanes that is something like that. It could be rockets that they set. Like you get to Australia in like two hours. That'd be awesome. Would you do that? I have a fear of space. So I have a fear of space and getting in a rocket. (laughs) That would be fucking terrifying. But it would also be so fucking expensive at that point. Well, yeah. But also I think that like technically... 
planes are like rockets. I guess they are with rockets with wings. I like wings on my rocket. I think I think the thing that that is probably more realistic is like this like underground tunnel, like train tunnel to like everywhere in the world. That'd be cool. Like you can get to like L.A. in like an hour and a half through this like light speed tunnel. That'd be great. I mean, light speed is nothing. But you, know, I think that's what they're calling it, like the light speed tunnel or train. If or I if like I that. could safely get to L.A. in an hour and a half. That'd be awesome. That'd be amazing. Dude, that'd be great. They better fix cars then because it shouldn't take me an hour and a half to drive here. Oh, I would just throw my car out. <laughs> I, would, I, I would. I don't know. If they, could, if they can go that quick, though. Like, if you can tell me, like, I can I get across the planet in, like, three hours, all for it. Yeah, I'd probably have to roll the dice at least once. You got to go underground. Time. I have a big camel toe right now. You wouldn't believe it. Can I see it? Dude, my God, your nuts look fat and Dude, shit. Thank you. <laughs> I need to readjust. God damn, dude. All right, you got f- those are those are full, good look. Those are full balls. Good looking nuts. Huh? That's crazy, good man. Good looking nuts. That's it's always been my selling point. The wiener, not so impressive. The nuts, clear eyes, full hearts, full balls. Can't full lose. butts, <laughs> butts, <laughs> full butts. I mean, you could fill a butt. You could fill a butt with what? Uh, saline. Oh, that's right. You got to do an enema if we get to a certain amount of patrons, I think which it was is eight thousand. Which is a perfect segue, guys. Go to patreoncom yeah. slash yard. Every single episode that we do, weekly episode, you get a week in advance, and you get an exclusive episode that nobody else sees except for other patrons. Every single Friday, it's a fun time, and um, we're at over as of recording today, we're at over sixty three hundred. I think if we said seven thousand. Joe's doing an enema. Eight. We still got to do... Uh, or maybe... It was, no, I think it was seven or eight. I don't we know. still got to do the, the Pocky Chip Challenge. Joey's mad at me because I bought the Pocky Chips without him knowing. So there's a good chance that by the time this episode comes out, the Pocky Chip Challenge is out. So uh, you're definitely going to want to check it out. It's a lot of fun. Those episodes tend to get a little fucking wild. Yeah. <laughs> uh, we also got to do a... We're going to do a Return of Dirt Wolves on there, too. Oh, wow. That's a good call. Yeah, we got to do that. So we need to find dirt wolves. Yeah. Which you should I'll be able to. I'll just go back to that. You should be able to find them. They're pretty easy. Yes, Pete. This guy's got everything. Big dick, a lot of beer. He's got it all. <laughs> <laughs> what else can he ask for? So uh, go ahead and check it out at patreon.com slash thebasevineyard. If, uh, <laughs> also, if we get to 10,000, Joey said I could pee on his foot. That's true. If, someone, if that's something you guys want to watch. They do. Which people are real into foot stuff. People are real into PP stuff. So that's like a meeting. Clash of the Titans. That's a clash of the Titans. <laughs> 10,000 patrons. Frankie's going to piss on my foot. Yeah, well, you know, in the dark. Do you want to see my wiener? In the dark? Yeah. What do you have, glow-in-the-dark piss? Or are you just going <laughs> to The guess? way my body works, I might. <laughs> Radioactive I really, piss. I really, really might. Yeah, no, I mean, I assumed... Uh, what else did we have on the docket for today? There was something else that we had that I wanted to talk about. No, we were talking about on the docket. The docket. Just... the docket. The docket. Like, it's, it's like you never heard, like, you never been to court. Obviously, you haven't because you've never been arrested because you were not fucking. Oh, let me guess. You, you, you've you been arrested? No. <laughs> <laughs> no, I haven't. But I have been to court. Why? Uh, I was. Uh, Traffic ticket. No. No, 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 no. You want to talk about parking tickets? I <laughs> forgot to pay one. That was in August. <laughs> And dropped his credit score 80 points. 80 points. Dude, 80 points. I don't actually know if that was the No, ticket. that's definitely that. That's definitely that. I hope. I just that's paid definitely it. that. Because I just got a ticket, and I was like, oh, because I go through the app, and I pay like all my tickets. Dude. I don't really get tickets, to be honest with you. But I ran a light, because it was a camera, and uh, they got me. So I went to go pay it through the app, and it'll tell you if you have any outstanding tickets. You can just pay them all in one shot. And I saw this ticket that was from fucking August. And, like, I pay my tickets. Like, I'm on top of that shit. So, August? That's wild. Missed it a bit. That's crazy. And I just paid this, like, two weeks ago. Yeah, my credit score was fucked up because, like, two years ago, I wasn't able to make payments on... I consider myself quite lucky because I, I have student loans, but they're pennies compared to other people. It's just take... it. You know, it puts you on a plan for, like, 10 years to pay them off or whatever. And the thing with student loans is one payment gets distributed to like eight loans. Sorry, I'm very passionate about this. Mm -hmm. It gets distributed to like eight loans. And I missed, I think like two months of payments. So it's like you missed like fucking 24 or whatever it is. (laughs) 
So, so my, my fucking credit went down. But also, like, fuck Credit Karma, dog. Because my credit score went super up. And it was, like, reporting at one thing. And then it came in through, like, an official report at something else. I was pissed off, man. Beck and I were trying to buy a house and, like, fuck. Credit's, credit's very stupid. Well. I agree. I didn't say that. <laughs> I agree with myself. <laughs> you agree with yourself. I agree with myself. I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a glad you do because that's kind of how that works. Yeah, but no, I went to court when uh, when I worked for Target. They needed me to go to court as a representative, so I just sat there. I, I just sat at the table in the courtroom and like didn't – yo, I didn't say a word. I just fucking sat there and watched this lawyer, this corporate lawyer, chew this fucking guy's ass out. What did he do? It was a it was a it like a slip and fall case where – the guy tried to argue that Target, it was like some fucking massive conspiracy that like Target was hiding this shit. And like the, the corporate lawyer just destroyed him, dude. I really? mean, destroyed him. I remember he was sitting in the, it was like the kid was like fresh out of law school. And he was sitting there and he was like, I'm telling you, your honor, I believe Target is hiding things. And the, the attorney was just, like, the judge was like, all right, this is shut down. Case dismissed. This is nothing. Bah, bah, bah. Gone. And this Slender. guy just got fucking gang banged by Target's corporate lawyers. Sounds about right. I might right. get fired. I'm not. Oh, I'm not. Oh, work for them. Get out of here, man. Fire me again. Sue him. Don't sue. Don't him. do that. <laughs> Don't do that. Take all he's got. But yeah, I've never been arrested. What's the closest you've been to being arrested? Probably like Halloween. You want to hear a crazy story? Yes, sir. One Halloween. I don't know if you were there, but. Uh, so our neighborhood growing up, like, we didn't live in, like, a bad neighborhood. If it was before 2010, I it, was there. No, but, like, this specific, like, moment, moment. Okay, okay, okay. So, like, our neighborhood growing up wasn't, like, a bad neighborhood. But it wasn't, like, perfectly safe or anything like that yeah. either. It had its its thugs. Yeah. It's, <laughs> it's thugs. It's thugs, right? It's <laughs> um, But especially on Halloween, it was, like, you know, there was a lot of fuckery going on. Um, and this one Halloween, there was people like driving by and either like, I think shooting out the windows or like just breaking windows of cars. And there was this guy who was an off duty police officer who was carrying his gun and he saw a bunch of kids. Like I had gone home for dinner. And then when I came back to meet up with my friends, uh, I walk up this certain block and I see all of my friends, like, on their knees, like, execution style, and this guy with a gun on his hip. Oh, that wasn't me. Yeah, and I was like, what the... And I literally saw that, and instead... And I lit this is my reaction. Went right the opposite way. I was oh, like, yeah. not oh, gonna yeah. help them. Oh, yeah. You're dead, so I can't help you. But it ended up being that he thought that they were the ones breaking the fucking uh, windows, so he, like, stopped them and, like, chased them with, like, a gun. No, and they got that super me. scared. That wasn't me. I think the, the, the time where we got chased the most was, if you remember, my cousin uh, Louie was like hanging on this on one Halloween. Did you remember DJ Guillermo? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Dude, I, I love that guy, but he recorded a song for a girl, and it was fucking dog shit. Well, all right. Uh, and we were like going around, you know, normal kid stuff, eggs, shaving cream, and instead of, like, when he ran out of shaving cream, he, th like, instead of throwing an egg, he threw the can of shaving cream. Mm -hmm, and he hit a fucking passing car that was, like, driving through and, like, egging people. And it was, like, we had a scatter. It was, like, we had a run. And I remember in particular, we were around, like, St. Francis. And it was, like, the car was fucking, like, stopped. And, like, everyone got out the car in the middle of an intersection and started chasing us and shit like that. I don't remember that, but it sounds about right. It was pretty wild, dude. Yeah, fucking, you better have your running shoes on on Halloween. And especially, under. and, like, yo, they don't do that shit no more, Thank dog. Thank God, though. They, I mean, to an extent. But, like, fucking egging was fun back in the day. Yeah, but dangerous. But also, like, you know what was a lot of fun, too? When we would have snowstorms. Those don't happen no more. We when just we would had just, a snowstorm. No, but like bad. Like you'd go out and it was like feet of snow. Do you remember when we would go down to the dumps? It sounded and like you said feet of snow. Feet of snow. A, f a foot of snow. Feet of snow. Like multiple feet. Oh, well, you're saying fetus. Feet of snow. That's disgusting. So, fetus snow. When they would put all the snow down by the dumps and it was just like a fucking like 12 foot tall, yeah. just like just aggro crag of snow yeah whoa That's good reference right yeah we need to get on a show where we can show the world our 
physical ability. Yeah, because we have a ton. Ish. We have so much. We're getting old. Getting old. We are getting old. Get that show out now but, before I turn 30. Dude, I'm telling you, floor is lava. That's the show for us, dog. Why do you keep pushing this? Because we would win, and we would win like $10,000 that you give to me. Can you imagine? Just imagine this for a second. Yeah. And this is going to be a dream of mine. I'm going to put it out there. Let's manifest. Uh, if me and you were like competing as a team on any show, how much of a fucking disaster that would be? We would not be fun. Yeah, it's like, oh, it's okay. We'd be like, yo, you're a fucking idiot. Dude, I say this all the time. When people that go on like Family Feud, where they're like, oh, good answer, good answer. I'd be like, yo, you fucking stupid bitch. Yeah. There's nothing about that that was good. Dude, you know, I, I remember as a kid. <laughs> Just throw my hands up. Oh, my God. Yeah. I remember as a kid watching uh, Legends of the Hidden Temple. And the kids would be like in the like the thing at the end where they had to go through and get the pieces of the the oracle or whatever yeah. it's called and they'd be like come on you got it all oh, he got caught i would like you'd bleep that show out if i was on that son of a bitch they would have to take me off i would not be happy i'd be escorted out i would be fucking pissed yeah you know same thing with like double dare yeah double dare i'll fuck some stuff up that's what i'm saying that'd be fun that's what i'm saying anyway i think that's all for this week's episode God damn it God, damn, God fucking damn Every it. single week, I have so much fun with you, and then you just want to cut it short to see me fail. That's not what it is. It's not. Me, my failure is your failure at this point. Well, I wouldn't say that. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, Frank, where can they find you? F. Alvarez 8085 on Twitter and on Twitch, and then the Frank Alvarez on Instagram. And something that was announced that I really want to make sure I get out there and let the people know is that your boy... Right here. Yes. Is joining the movie trivia schmodown, baby. Yes. All that useless movie knowledge that everyone said that I had, guess what? I'm going to use it to start fucking whooping ass. Yeah. All right? If you guys don't know what it is, it's like movie trivia and WWE meshed into one. It's fucking awesome. Queens native, Christian Harloff, him and his buddies made it uh, out there in LA, and it's fucking great. Go check it out. I'm super, super pumped to be a part of it. You can go check it out at YouTube, Movie Trivia Schmodown, or uh, their website. It's I'm I'm telling you now, I'm gonna start whooping ass. I hope I don't suck, but also I'm gonna start whooping ass, and then I'm gonna pay for us to go out oh. to a nice restaurant. Yeah, that's it. All I could afford. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no man, after it's, party. It's fucking awesome. It's a lot of fun. I've wasted. It's not a waste, I guess, since I'm competing now. But I've I've watched hours and hundreds of hours of content. So. Uh, Go check it out. Yes, that is awesome. I can't wait to uh, watch you come bait. No, but Frankie, seriously, like I feel like he knows everything about this shit. So Damn right. I told him, I'm like, yo, you're born for this. Oh, yeah. This is what you're going to do. I'm going to fucking scream. Yeah. I can't curse on there, though. Oh, bro. Might be hard, bro. It's going to be you hard. You know what? Maybe my character, I'll be a tough guy. You can follow the show <laughs> at The Basement Yard on Instagram and TikTok. Go check out our TikTok. Blowing up as usual uh, on there. Kids love TikTok, and the kids love Basement Yard. Oh, yeah. Kind of. Joey's um, always been a fan of kids. <laughs> almost almost got out of here with, uh, without that. Josh, just do me a favor. Uh, but, yeah, you can go follow the show at the Basement Yard on everything, and uh, go fucking uh, follow me at Joe Santagato and our Patreon, patreon.com slash the Basement Yard. Thank you for all the support, and we appreciate you guys. Yeah. Uh, see you next time. Bye.